guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for probably the most anticipated comic for this week, because it is the 75th anniversary of Superman and celebrating Superman. Um, Man of Steel is coming out this week, and Superman Unchained by Jim Lee and Scott Snyder came out this week. Uh, very anticipated issue. I was very anticipated about it, but uh, before I start talking about this issue, just want to give you guys a little update. Big update. Uh, I have a new series coming to Dark Avenger Inc. Usually I do in-depth reviews for Dark Avenger Inc. that I usually don't do on Comic Uno. But now I'm having a show where I do every comic I've read in one show. Now a lot of people wanted that. A lot of people want um, all my comics to be, or all my reviews to be in one episode. Now I didn't want to do that with Comic Uno because I thought what I have special is my in-depth reviews. And uh, I like talking about, you know, in-depthly about an issue. So I kept that on Comic Uno, and I'm going to have Comic Uno Episode 1 on Dark Vendor Inc. That way I can talk about every issue I read. Now there are going to be exclusive issues to that series that I won't have on uh, this channel. And some of those, all those issues are for this week. Are Killjoys Issue 1 from Dark Horse. Uh, Ultimate Comics X-Men Issue 27. Guardians of the Galaxy Issue 3. And Superboy issue 21. So if you want to go check out those reviews, uh, go check out the first episode of Comic Uno, episode 1. Uh, so that will be annotated here. <laughs> but yeah, that will be annotated in this video. And guys, you might be wondering why I don't have a vlog um, today. Um, yeah, I will have a vlog this Saturday. Usually I have them with my reviews, but it could be scattered throughout the week. But I want to do a video about Man of Steel and me seeing Man of Steel. So that's why... Um, I'm going to have a Saturday instead of um, today. And also, I'll have a review for Man of Steel on Friday because I'll be editing uh, the video for the vlog Friday, and that's why it's going to be Saturday. But the, the review for Man of Steel will be up Friday, Friday night. So definitely go check that out. And guys, don't forget to check out the new Mother Versus episode where I sing as Tiffany badly, but I sing, and it's funny. So um, go check that out, Mother Versus uh, new episode, and tell me what you think about it in the comments below. Uh, but let's talk about um, Superman Unchained issue one. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about the cover. Love this cover. Jim Lee art, of course. Um, very excited to read this. And of course, like the... Uh, I had no how Batman Air Mini. Actually, I do. Like the Batman issue. Very glossy, laminated type of cover. So they worked hard on it. And we get to see, see the same cover for Superman Unchained, which is uh, I was very happy to see. So it's uh, thick material for the cover. Good cover, but... One question is, four ninety nine price tag. That's a lot of money for a comic. Um, that's not double sized. It's a normal size comic with a poster in it. So is it worth four ninety nine? That's the question. Um, let's talk about this issue. So we get to see, you know, a nice Superman story trying to save these people from this big space station that um, is teamed up by like Russia. America, they all built this space station that's supposed to be announced a year later, you know, and uh, Superman saves it because someone attacked it. Um, now, who's the person who attacked it was Lex Luthor. We don't know exactly why he attacked it, but he did. And also we get to see uh, another story where we get to, well, same issue, but another, um, a secondary story that's going on with um, General Elaine, who has all these weapons under the sea, and uh, a weapon that is stronger than Superman. That's, there you go. Um, I thought this issue was a good foundation. I did. I liked it. There was a lot of action. But I didn't love it. I, I think I was really hyped for this issue, but I didn't love it. You know, um, I, I'm afraid you guys are going to yell at me. I don't know what you guys think about it. I didn't see anyone's reviews. But um, I didn't love the issue because I felt like there wasn't a lot in it. I think there's a really good foundation. Um... The main story I felt was a little shaky, like, oh, Superman saving the ship. Lex Luthor obviously has something to do with it. And now, the one thing that was very interesting, though, was that cliffhanger story where there is a powerful being, stronger than Superman, a godlike creature that the government made. Um, I think that's very interesting, and that's something I really enjoyed. But the Lex Luthor story, I think it's connected, obviously, but I didn't really totally enjoy it in this issue, and that's most of the issue. But stuff I did enjoy was that classic Superman but with a new twist. Um, you know, that's what we were looking for the new 52. We weren't looking for the action comic Superman. We had, like, the jerk type of Superman that some some of the comics from New 52 have um, betrayed Superman. I feel this is a new version of Superman, 
but still Superman. And that's what I really liked about this issue also, and what I liked about the foundation of this character in this issue. Um, having Lois being her snarky self, but not in an annoying way. She's like, hey, you didn't write this right, you know, you should have done this, and you should have you shouldn't have covered your lead, which is very good journalism talk, which I've never seen in a Superman comic. Uh, but I like seeing that, you know, a lot of those type of Daily Planet stuff, and then also still referencing that Clark's not part of the Daily Planet, and he wanted to do his internet stuff, and want to talk more about human pieces, human rights pieces. And uh, that's interesting, you know, and I like those all those interactions. I think the one problem I had with it was honestly just the main story. It took too long to talk, talk about the Lex Luthor thing, which I didn't feel so interesting. Um, the narration I felt like could have been a little better. I was really expecting some epic narration, but it wasn't totally there. And also the poster I really liked though. The poster, I wish there wasn't words on it because it's kind of hard to read. But the poster, I don't want to take it out because honestly it was really too hard to read. But um, the poster was really nice art wise. And I actually saw a comic shop where they're like, Jim Lee's art can't be contained. Which is kind of true, right? He's, he has to make a whole poster with it just to make, contain his art in one comic. Which I thought was hilarious. Uh, but yeah, I thought this was a very solid foundation. I think it was a good issue. But it wasn't great for the price. You know, I think if this was a $3.99 comic, I'd be giving this a higher grade. But it's a $4.99 comic. You're paying a lot for, you know, you're not getting a double size issue. It's $5 for this comic. Uh, I know it's a double threat, you know, Jim Lee, Scott Snyder, but, um still was an expensive issue. So I am going to give it three and a half because mostly because of the price, honestly. And um, I'm still going to pick this up. I still thought it was a good issue and a good foundation. I just think I had a little bit more hype for this issue than um, what I did receive in this issue. Doesn't mean I didn't like it. I just think I didn't love it, you know, which I really expected to. But I I'm still picking this up. Still have high hopes. Jim Lee, Scott Snyder. I think we're going to get some interesting story. I hope Jim Lee stays on this title. That's one thing. He, he didn't stay on Just League for a long time, or maybe he did, he stayed for a pretty long time, but uh, maybe because he was working on Superman on Chain, but I do hope he stays on for a little while, I know he is busy, and he usually doesn't work on one title stuff, but I do hope he stays on for a while, because I do like his art, especially for like Superman and Justice League, I think it works really well, so um, I do give this three and a half stars, Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Again, I haven't heard anyone's thoughts yet on it. I try to avoid reviews. That way I give my opinion on it. Um, same thing for Man of Steel, the movie. I haven't seen any reviews. I don't want to see any reviews until I see the movie. Um, but yeah, I give this three and a half stars. Hope you guys enjoyed. Guys, don't, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and the right situations. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.